If I was starting internet marketing or affiliate marketing all over again, what would I do differently? Got it coming up for you right now. Hello, my friend. My name is Danny Fortz with Laptop9to5.com, helping you to kick your J-O-B to the curb and annihilate your 9-to-5 grind. Listen, uh, when I first got started online, I mean, just like everyone else, there's, you're being told a lot of different things. But there is definitely, looking back in hindsight, there's definitely three things that I would have focused on and would have done with, that I would have done religiously. And here are the three. Let's let's go with uh, number one. Learn how to sell. You know, most people think like salesmen are sleazy because all they can think about is the person, uh, the used car salesman, or the pushy salesman at in, in some sort of pushy. Uh, and some sort of other pushy position like a telemarker or something. But fact of the matter is most salespeople are pretty good and they have your best interests at heart. What most people don't realize is that we're always selling. We're always selling and buying something. Whether you're, you know, whether you're selling someone on where to go on a date or where to go to eat or what book they should read or why Facebook is better than Snapchat or YouTube is better than Facebook or whatever reason, you're always selling something. So while we do it inherently, consciously, we don't realize that we're doing it until probably somebody phrased it to you just like this. So the first thing I would definitely learn would have been taking the time to apply and learn more selling skills. So that would be the first thing I would go back and do differently. The second thing I would do differently is email marketing. We always hear this, that the money is in the list. And unfortunately, most of us want to do cool stuff. We want to build websites. We want to do blogging. We want to do video marketing. We want to do all this other stuff. Everything except for the quintessential basic basics that keeps money in our actual pockets and that my friend is building an actual email list that you can continue to market to prospects customers and just basically stay top of mind it's also a good way just to have communication i mean as a business owner you do wind up becoming friends with your with your subscribers Believe it or not, I know there's certain marketers that I actually look forward to getting their re emails. And I've even had some of my own clients and customers say that they read my emails and actually enjoy them and learn a few things when I do email them. So maybe I should email them a little off, a little more often. The third thing I would do is definitely video. Um, no question that nothing builds trust and instant rapport like video. People keep talking this nonsense about no like and trust. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think on video that you can come across more confident. You can definitely point people in the right direction. And going back to my last video, when you're demonstrating actual value, they don't necessarily have to like you, right? I don't like a lot of the marketers that I actually follow, but they have results. So I'm more of a results driven person. Other people, they have to get all you know, flowery and kumbaya and let's love on each other and let's become best friends before we ever have a transaction. F that nonsense. Listen, I got a product I'm promoting. Here's how it'll help you. Do you want it? Yes or no. That's also part of the rejection free formula. No calling, no chasing, no convincing. If you ever want to check that one out, you can go to rejectionfreeformula.com and do so. So having said that, those are the three things that I would do over again if I could go back in time and start my internet marketing career over because I wasted a lot of time. And you're going to hear people talk about building a list all the time and most people still won't do it. So having said that, if you want to get on my list, you can go to laptop925.com. That's laptop, the number nine, the number two, the number five. Dot com where you can click on the button and watch the video of the six steps to kicking your J-O-B to the curb and annihilating your nine to five. I hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, or even criticisms, feel free to leave them uh, in the comment section below. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell, right? The bell puts you on my notification squad as I'm trying to definitely grow this new YouTube channel. And I'm going to keep it, especially for this 100 day challenge. And then I'm going to get into straight internet marketing, work from home, kind of laptop lifestyle uh, channel. So take care. Have a fantastic day. God bless. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.
Yeah.